Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Minnesota Twins game review. Obviously, not the game that we wanted right there. Not the series we wanted, but we're going to talk positives in this video because, yes, we did lose. We lost 10 to 7. It was another slugfest, at least for the first part of the game, but uh, it was a good game overall. And this series really showed that we can compete, even with bad pitching. So, I mean, if, if you look at how good some of these guys did and how bad others did, I mean, this, I think, it's not a win, obviously, but how good we did really shows we can compete with the Yankees when it matters. So, we're going to go through it, of course. We are going to, you know, talk a lot about pitching in this video and specifically injuries because I know injuries have been a problem too. So, we're just going to jump right into it. Let's go to the box score. Uh, we lost 10-7. to 7. They had 15 hits. We had 9. Uh, so, you know what? It looks like they beat us across the board. Uh, we scored first in the first inning. We scored two runs on a Rosario home run. That was great. Um, but uh, we gave up four runs in the second, two runs in the third, three runs in the fourth. That was it until the ninth inning. But just very unfortunate that uh, we couldn't. We couldn't save it. You know, that's just that was bad pitching by Oda Rizzi. His worst performance of maybe his career. I mean, that was awful. But uh, they beat us with the hitting. I mean, that's what that's what happened. We're gonna go through it, of course. So let's let's talk about uh, pitching. Um, like I said, Oda Rizzi, four innings, ten hits, nine runs. Nine of them were earned. That was bad. That there's no other words to describe it. That was absolutely awful. Uh, two runs or two walks, I should say, and seven strikeouts. Devin Smeltzer had to come in. My goodness. Let's talk about who's been the best pitchers this weekend. Thorpe, Smeltzer, and Stashek. Are you kidding me? All three of them are rookies. Smeltzer in his fourth MLB game ever. Stashek was in his MLB debut. And Thorpe had pitched one time before. Even Cole Stewart didn't do bad, who has... You know, not pitched very much this year, was thrown into the situation and kind of had to pay for it. But I mean, look at this guy's numbers five innings, five hits, one earned run, four strikeouts, no walks. Dude, he's a lefty. Thorpe's a lefty. Perez is a lefty. Rogers is a lefty. We might, and this is not what we should do, but we might actually end up going into this trade deadline, of course, not doing anything because that's what the Twins management does. But we could end up putting Smeltzer, Thorpe, Perez, and Rogers in the bullpen. That would not be good, but but they've done the best. I mean, if you look at all the numbers this weekend, Smeltzer, Thorpe, Stashek, Lewis, these guys who are rookies are doing better than their starters. They're doing better. They're doing the best against a good Yankees team. Are you kidding me? Like. <laughs> What are the odds of that, right? I mean, like, that's just the, the pinnacle of Minnesota Twins baseball. I don't know what else to tell you about that. Let's go over to the other side of things. This is how good our offense has been lately, and we just haven't been able to do anything. I mean, the last two games specifically, it's because our pitching is, is, has bitten us. J.A. Happ, he went three and one-thirds innings, giving up six runs. As I mentioned, we scored two in the first, one in the second, three in the fourth, one in the fifth. That's it. That is it. And that last run wasn't off of uh, Hap. But I'm just saying, we have gotten these guys out before the fourth inning. Uh, the last three guys, right? Uh, every single starting pitcher in the Yankee series was S Sabathia went four innings. Uh, Germon went three and two-thirds innings. And Hap went three and a third innings. Our offense was there. But our pitching sucked. <laughs> and again, it was the rookies that did better than everyone else. And if we don't make a trade, goodness sakes, like I said, throw it out the window. But uh, it honestly looks like we are going to take Smeltzer and Thorpe into the trade deadline. We are six days away from the trade deadline, and we have not made a single move. We have not talked about making a lot of moves. Um, that's, that's pathetic. That is very much pathetic, and uh, that needs to be solved because otherwise we're going to put Smeltzer out there in the ALCS assuming we get there um and and he's gonna be going up against the yankees again in yankee stadium in his rookie year i mean 
doesn't seem like a very logical thing to do but uh you know what that's why i'm not the manager and i'm not the gm right let them make the mistake so i mean we we did great offensively i don't even know what else to tell you like we did fine <laughs> we just we couldn't get you know hits together when it mattered at the end there of course and there was a couple of things in the outfield like cave man we missed buxton that's what i was going to mention as well injuries have just really taken a toll on us i mean the last time we had kepler in right field buxton in center field eddie rosario in left field was june 14th that is over a month ago and you can tell why we've lost a lot of games in that month i mean since like you know how we went on that rampage in may and we won like 20 games and we lost like seven yeah then you go into june and july and we are 500 baseball because we don't have these guys out there i'm not saying buxton is you know the guy who's gonna save us but when you put other people out there that are not as fast as buxton even kepler i like kepler in center field he's not doing a bad job but you can tell there are times where kepler probably should have gotten a ball or cave should have gotten a ball and he didn't and that scored a couple runs i mean what can you do like cave is just not the same guy he was last year i don't know what else to tell you it really stinks you know hicks and dd gregorius were the two guys who absolutely burned us in this entire series um hicks hit a home run yesterday um angwin encarnacion hit a home run yesterday too but uh i mean hicks beat us dd gregorius beat us that's it judge didn't do a lot i mean he went two for five yesterday but he didn't do a lot you know to, to wreck us in the series I mean, even Urshela, uh, Edwin Encarnacion didn't necessarily destroy us. LeMahieu, all these guys who have been so good this year didn't do a lot of damage against us, even in our bad pitching, right? I mean, granted that game yesterday against Parker, I don't even count that really, but, you know, like every single one of these guys were able to hit off of the pitchers, and we were able to contain for the most part with better pitching. I think we definitely would have been able to contain these guys on the Yankees. We are, we are able to compete. But like I said, when you put Cave out there in center field, who's not Kepler, he's not Buxton, can't hit as well either. It's just like you, you love the guy, but he can't do it. And it, it seems as if, you know, we traded Murphy for, for Hicks, or we traded Hicks for Murphy. We all know how that turned out. Probably one of the worst trades in Minnesota Twins history. Um, but uh, we trade for Cave as well. And those two guys both end up biting us. So let's just go through it. Um, you know, Garver, 0 for 3 at the top of the lineup. Did get an RBI, did walk once. Polanco, 0 for 5. Cruz, 2 for 4 with a home run. Two runs, one RBI, uh, and a walk. A good day for him. A good day for the middle part of the lineup, really. Because um, then Eddie Rosario also hit a home run. Two RBIs, one run, 2 for 4 day. He had a good day. His average is back up to 285. Uh, you know, get there's what 22nd home run of the season. That's great. Cruz has also got 22 home runs now, uh, so that's that's fantastic. Um, Sano 0 for 2 today with two strikeouts, but he did walk twice as well. Like I said, he's been seeing the ball better a lot. I like that. Uh, it'll come with time. He did score a run as well. Gonzalez hit a home run, one for four, two RBIs and a run. Then I mean, this part of the lineup did really well as as, as well. Rise two for three. My gosh, he's a stud. Um, definitely my favorite twins player since joe mauer left 100 percent. but uh, two for three with two rbi or two runs rather and a walk then scope went two for four cave went 0 for two with an rbi and kepler went 0 for one uh and when he pinched hit i don't know why kepler was out of the lineup yesterday i mean like really he he hits lefties just as good as righties half is not a guy who's gonna blow anybody away i don't know why Kepler was necessarily out of the lineup against the Yankees when you're trying to win a big series, but you know what? I'm not the general manager or any any part of that team, so it's not my call. But I'm just saying, you know, that's just it's it's not good baseball. Like, yes, we're competing, but no, we're still out of it, right? And that's the biggest thing. We need to make some moves to make these games happen in our favor, right? I'm not complaining that we lost to the Yankees, right? That's I mean, that's not a given, but they play us well. They've done well. Um, we sucked with pitching. It happens. So you just got to roll with the punches. But we could definitely compete. That's what I'm trying to tell you. We can compete. And you know what? It will come around, right? It will come around. We make some trades, hopefully. 
and uh, we can beat them when it matters in October, right? So that's all I got for you today. It's a very short video, but uh, you know what? Got to roll with the punches. Cleveland's two games back now. They keep winning, but they get Kansas City. I think it's in Kansas City this time, so that's a little bit better. You know, Kansas City's tough at home. We get the Sox. We better beat the White Sox, and um, – and we could keep that lead. You know, that's all that matters. So Kansas City's been playing good baseball lately. Hopefully they can beat Cleveland a little bit more. And uh, we can beat the Sox. And all things will work out. So that's all I can ask for. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys did miss yesterday's, click above my head. If you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you tomorrow.